In this session, I'd like to explain the nuclear reactions happening in the stars. So first one is a hydrogen burning, we call the PP chains. So it is almost impossible for four protons to interact at the same time. So we consider the chain of the reactions involved in the only the two particles. So PP1 chain is a proton react with a proton to produce the deuterium plus positron and the neutrinos. And the deuterium react with a proton to produce the helium-3 plus gamma the photons. And the helium-3 react with another helium-3 to produce the helium-4 and the two protons. This is what we call the PP1 chains. So PP1 chains, protons react with another proton to produce the deuterium plus positron plus neutrinos. And the deuterium react with the protons to the helium-3 plus photons. And the helium-3, actually two helium-3 react to the helium-4 plus two protons. So in these calculations, we'd like to find out the net reactions. And then you can multiply the two in the both sides. Two, two. And for the second reaction, you multiply two, two. Then sum up the all the reactions. Then helium-3 is going to be cancelled. And the deuterium is going to be cancelled out. So two protons is going to be cancelled out. So net reaction is a four protons. React to form the helium-4 plus two positrons plus two neutrinos and the two photons, two gamma. So this is the net reaction of the PP chains. PP2 chains, the beryllium and the lithium are involved in the reactions. But the number of the beryllium and the lithium doesn't change. And the PP3 chains, the beryllium and the volons are involved in the reactions. But in the case of the lithium and the beryllium, charge number is larger than the protons. So stronger repulsive force is acting between the beryllium or lithium. Then it's quite difficult to start the nuclear reactions. So we need higher temperatures for the PP2 chains. And the further higher temperatures is required to start the PP3 chains. So PP1 chains is a lower temperatures, 10 million Kelvin. But if you increase the temperatures 20 million Kelvin, the PP2 chain start working. If you increase the temperature 30 million Kelvin, PP3 chain is start working. So this is the PP1 chain. The energy released by the PP chains can be calculated as I explained using the binding energy, the mass excess. It's going to be calculated at 26.73 mega electron volts. So two protons are transformed into two, two neutrons, creating the two neutrinos. So we can use uh, these form the two neutrinos to demonstrate nuclear reaction is happening inside of the stars by detecting the neutrinos on the Earth. Another type of the hydrogen burnings using the carbon nitrogen oxygen. A small percentage of the initial composition of the stars consists of the carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen, CNOs, are destroyed and reformed in the cyclic process. We call such a process GNO cycle. So carbon reacts with a proton to produce a nitrogen. Nitrogen 13 is an unstable atom to become the carbon 13 plus positron plus neutrinos. And the carbon 13 captured protons not to produce the nitrogen 14. Nitrogen 14 reacts with a proton to produce the oxygen 15. Oxygen 15 is unstable to decay to the nitrogen 15 and the positron and the neutrinos. And the nitrogen 15 reacts with the protons to produce the carbon 12 and the helium 4. And the nitrogen 15 reacts with the protons to produce the oxygen 16 plus protons. Oxygen 16 reacts with the proton to produce the fluorine plus protons. The fluorine 17 decay to the oxygen 17 plus positron plus neutrinos. And the oxygen 17 react with the proton to produce the nitrogen 14 plus helium force. 
Then I'd like to show you the one example of the CNO cycle. So carbon 12 react with a proton to form the nitrogen 13 plus gamma. And the nitrogen 13 decay to the carbon 13 plus positron plus neutrino. And the carbon 13 react with a proton to the nitrogen 14 plus gamma. And the nitrogen 14 react with a proton. And the oxygen 15 plus gamma photon. Oxygen 15 decay to the nitrogen 15 plus positron plus neutrino. Nitrogen 15 react with a proton to produce the carbon 12 plus helium 4. So if you sum up the, these equations, nitrogen cancel, oxygen is cancel, nitrogen 14 is cancel, carbon 13 is cancel, nitrogen 13 is cancer and the carbon 12 is going to be cancer. So we have four proton react to the helium 4 plus two positron plus two neutrino. And the three carbon and the nitrogen does not appear as a reactant or a product. So carbon, nitrogen, oxygen act as a catalyst. So this is a CNO cycle. So number of the CNO nuclei taking part in the process is constant in time. Burning rate is determined by the slowest reactions. Beta decay is independent of the temperatures, but capture reactions are extremely sensitive to temperatures. At high temperatures, nuclear reactions with the protons proceed rapidly due to the large velocity of protons. Beta decay can be a bottleneck to the reactions. So depending on the temperatures, but the reaction is a bottleneck for the chain of the reaction.